And welcome back guys. So we're going to be playing some more Once Human. We're going to try to get as far as we can regarding side quests and main quests here. Uh, let's see how many days I have left on my season. I have 11 days. So once I've gotten as many quests as I can physically get done, uh, the server is in season final phase. Shall be merged time to merge 3 days and 19 hours. So my options are I could sit here and transfer out and wait for this to go down to two days. Or I could go ahead and sign up for another server. Oh, things are glitchy. I could sign up for this one. This one, the sign up ends in 13 days, which is not currently let me transfer to it. This is currently available. I have three days until this one will stop letting people in, basically. So, I think my plan here is to get as much as I can get done today, and then I'll probably transfer to that one server that's available. I think that's going to be my plan. Uh, the only downside to that server is that server opened up a week ago. So, I'll basically have a week loss of time to actually get stuff done so from what i was told all your quests basically reset but you can take your blueprints over or you can take certain guns and gear over but it's pretty much what it is kind of like rust where you know you have stuff for a month on a monthly server you have a base and then it gets all wiped out and reset and the only difference with this game once human is you literally get to take your guns or blueprints over to the next server slash when it resets. You still have to go get grind and re get everything again, but that's from what I was told. So I'm going to try to get as far as I can within the questing here. That's my plan. Be sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it.
Rosetta facility we're talking about here. One that's full of high-risk experimental subjects. You said it yourself. They have the medical supplies we need. They have the tech that will help us detect Stardust. And thanks to your time there, we have the access codes and layout. Dennis is right. It's risky. But I can't let my people keep dying like this. Dennis, you and I will sneak in together with a team of our best men. Trent, you're in charge while I'm gone. We don't make it back. And at least I know Blackfell's in good hands. about this place, even by Rosetta standards. Did you hear that? I can't tell what it is yet. But be careful in that.
now experiencing what happened to Ted here. Dennis! Damn it, Dennis. Where the hell are you? There's something here. It's coming after me. Dennis, if you can hear me, just take the supplies and get out of here. Now! We now experiencing what happened to Ted here. Dennis! Damn it, Dennis. Where the hell are you? There's something here. It's coming after me. Dennis, if you can hear me, just take your supplies and get out of here. Now! Thank God! I finally found you! Dennis! Wake up! What happened? You got me! All I know is, we gotta get out of here! Now! I don't think that'll hold much longer. There's gotta be some other way out. Get out of here. Take those supplies and go. It's too late. Just take the supplies and go. Help track with Blackfell. It's okay. I'm counting on both of you. No, Ted.
Oh my god, you actually did it. You made it out. Did you get the supplies? Yeah, I got the supplies. And Ted? He told me to help you take care of Blackfell. We should go back. There's a lot of work to do. Good job. We should be able to activate the Rift Anchors and enter the monolith now. Great, they've messed up the asset farm. They just need to stop, man. Seriously. Did you see that car that they put out for 600 bucks? Like, yeah, no. I might pay 100 for it, not 600. Talk about, you talk about Oh, we'll never put microtransactions in this game, and there you are, you're put, making it so that there's a decoration that's cost 600 bucks. Yeah, no thank you. Kind of like me and my virtual club, I had an idea to bring something new into the club, and then you've got a cu couple, you know, get those couple people are like, oh, we don't want that. It's like, really? And there's always a couple people that sit there and ruins it for everyone else. Well, you gotta think about it from the dance club scene. You gotta start doing new stuff, because if you don't start doing new stuff, people get bored, and then they don't want to get go and dance at your club anymore, and you kind of see the problem. And then you've got people that don't want that things to change, and, you know, they're just, they'll sit there and go, oh, we're gonna dip if you make this change, and it's like, you know, it's, it's rough. 
That day when I'm no longer running a dance club, I'll be happy, you know why? So I don't have to deal with this shit no more. <laughs> I, I, don't get me wrong, I love running a dance club. It's just, it's got its moments where it's you question, is it still worth it? little pissed at my the wires not going into the barrels anymore for some reason not sure what the hell's going on with it oh I know it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing That's right, it won't matter too much more here, because we're going to be moving servers, so I would, I'm going to have to rebuild this asset farm anyways, so that's why it doesn't matter too much. Wow, where the frick did that base come from? That wasn't here last time I logged on. That's new. I kind of like it. Alright. You know the asset farm's all buggy. Since the recent update. Go over here. Get all that crap stripped down. Oh, I've got so much map work to do. It's crazy. The amount of map work I've got to do is crazy. Alright, let's go sort through our shit. So, my plan here is once we get this stuff pretty much filled up with stuff, where I can't really care, like, see these stacks of a thousand scrap here, of metal scrap, my plan is just to sell it. I don't plan to take it over to the next save because. Why take it over if I can just sell it for more points for the bank store? So, over an external land, you can sell stuff like this, you can sell demons, you can sell stuff like this to get more points over there. So that's my plan. So I'm just going to sell it. Wish that there was like an auto sorting system for this because that'd make life way easier. Look, we've got another couch. Oh boy, we should probably use it. Hey, look, we could actually put couches in here. What? That's new. Can we put that in there? No? Oh, Alright, I guess I'll just have to place it on a column here and act like it was supposed to be there. Yeah. Kinda pissed with the recent changes. The game's super buggy now. It's just like really. And this is also starting to get annoying. It keeps filling up with stuff that it shouldn't have in there. It just means something in the base is full. Alrighty, so let me go upstairs, and then I need to check my wire catcher. So, I plan to sell as much as I can of this. Not gonna do it right now, of course, but you get the basic idea. It's nice to be back to playing, uh, you know, once human. It's a nice escape from VR chat. Alright, let's go see what our water catcher's doing. Okay, so we got a bunch of ore I need to smell, which I'll probably just do off camera because it's just so much easier. Here, take three rotten food. Mmm, sounds good. Uh, 
Okay, cool. They gave us some sugar. All right, what are you making? You've got water in there. So that means the bin upstairs is probably full. Probably. What are you clogged up with? Um, okay, that could explain a lot. That's a lot of stuff that shouldn't be in there. And that obviously means the water catchers probably have a lot of stuff in there that shouldn't have in there too. So the biggest problem I'm having in this area is I'm not getting enough fresh water. And the issue with this is that means I don't can't produce like I've got a ton of the acid stuff. Got a ton of it. But I do not have enough uh, you know, dirty water to you know to keep up with the demand I have here. Like, if I could get on a line between polluted zone and clean, or, or dirty water, I'd be in a great position. Alright, and now it's not a very good position, basically. Now I, I'm gonna have him grow this with polluted water. Looks at me, that's terrible. I know. You know what? I wonder what would happen if I tried to purify this dirty water. Probably won't work, but... Hey, let's look around and find out. Yeah, and there's a reason why I've built that the way I did there. Can we actually... I was wondering if we could take uh, polluted wire and actually turn it into something. Guess not. Alright. So let's take a look at our water thing here. Okay, so we got some wire in there. Not a great amount of wire, but we have water. Water, the meanings of life. All right, so I need to go over here. I don't want to jump down there because if I get in... what the hell happened to my pumps? Well, this explains a, a lot of why my uh, facility's not working. Like, did they glitch out? No, it looks like they've been literally removed. Okay, what the fuck? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much, because... I'm going to be moving servers, but still, it's like, what the fuck? Eh, I'll build a couple of them just to get it operational again, but still, what the fuck? That right there is not cool. This is how you get people to not want to play your game. What, because they stop playing for three fucking days? You're gonna go home over and delete their shit? Yeah, no. And I'm gonna have some person come over here. Wait a minute, you wanna go ahead and ha not have these in the water, you want these on the ground. No, I need water, dingus. <laughs> Seriously. I, I get little cards all the time saying, hey, you need to do this. And I'm like, no, I need water. Please stop saying that I need something else. I don't need that. And they'll sit there and, blah, 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 and I'm just like, dude, I don't need polluted water right now. I really need normal water. <laughs> uh, that's slightly annoying. I'm sitting there like, why the hell is this broken? Maybe it's a thing that, c maybe they automatically delete your pumps or something like that. If you've been offline for too long, I don't know. It's just stupid. 
Uh, it's going to be a real pain in the ass to get those back in where they were. How much a pain in the ass is it going to be? It's going to be a pain in the ass, all right. Like, I stopped playing for like three days. I come back and... Oh no! The bumps are now not in existence. It no longer exists. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Really? So I tried putting wires from this one to the next one to the next one. But for some reason when you put you know, pumps this far out. For some reason, they like to glitch out. And I'm not exactly sure what the hell the problem is. Alright, so we'll get these pumps back up and operating. Uh, will they be at full intensity? Probably not. But it'll be close enough. Will it be perfect the way I had it set up before? No. Not likely. Why are you being such a pain? It's probably because of this purifier right here. Let's just move you right over there for the moment. Well, playing other games, it's, you know, a stress labor. You're not dealing with the shit of VR chat. Being a club owner, it's got its gifts, but it also gets its curses, you know. You wanted to bring something new in, but everyone's like, oh, we'll leave if you bring that in. It's like, really? Sounds like I need a new style. That's all it sounds like to me. Man, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna love it when I can just no longer run a club. You know why? Because I, I won't have to deal with anyone's bullshit. What's that? You're gonna blacklist me? I can just make a brand new viewer chat and Discord account. <laughs> you, you can see where, you know, running a club would no longer anchor me down to, like, Discord accounts or VR chat accounts. Like, oh, really? Okay. Bloop. That's exactly what's going on there, okay. So now, I've got to pull the ma mad scientist here and get this all hooked back up again. Should be fun. Uh, we'll go put you there, then ding, and then ding, and then we'll do you there. Let's see here, is there anything in this room right now? There is. I move you somewhere else though. That'd be more beneficial to me right now. Oh. That would have been very bad. Alright. So let me to bring you down there. Hey, you get to see me fix my asset farm. Oh boy, this is what I want to do when I log on. Not really. Really? Well. What the fuck? Well, as you can tell, one human is very buggy. 
Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's gonna load? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was trying to fix my asset farm. What the fuck's the problem here? Uh, okay, I guess we're not ending the video. We just witnessed one human have a fucking crisis there. Like, what the fuck? Well, isn't an internet fryer problem? That was a strictly a server problem right there. What the fuck? Well, at least we know now know why no one's really playing one's human right now. Uh, it, it, they're either having server problems. I don't know what the hell that was about. As long as it doesn't do it again. If it does it again, then I'm probably going to stop playing once again. See, this is exactly why I like playing games directly off of your computer. I'm not a server based thing because. You know, you'll sit there and buy the game, like the Axis, and then, you know, in a couple of years when it's no longer popular, they'll just shut the server off, and it's like, you made me pay money for something that's just going to get taken away later on? Yeah, no. I don't have enough power for this. Really don't like it that you have to literally exit the mode just to get to things. I'm trying to delete this wire and then quite literally have to go a little bit to the side. There, finally. Alright, let's see how everything's flowing. So we've got lots of full water in there. It's like the main thing I need right now is like purified water, so. Eh. Come on, we can make it. We can make it if we try. Maybe it's just not a good day to play once human. That's what it's looking like. It's a buggy ass mess. Could you stop switching over there? That'd be great. You see this shit? Keep switching over here and I'm not even clicking that. I'm told it to be on this screen and it just keeps switching over there. Yeah, no. Well, the problem is they kept adding and adding and 
adding more shit to the game it didn't need. Like, hey guys, look at this, you should buy this! And I'm like, no. Not very happy with one's human right now. Well, this is how they hook people. They literally get you to buy, you know, like, cosmetics and shit. And it's like, really? Alright, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. At least you know what I'm doing. I'm currently cleaning up the mess they left me. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.